You want to see me eat the sourest slime in the world? <gasps> you challenged me to make DIY animal candy slime. And first of all, I had no idea you were even able to eat certain types of slime, but we are doing three types. We're doing a gummy slime, we're doing a candy slime, where we mix a whole bunch of candy into the gummy slime. And the last one, I have to eat sour slime. I didn't even know that was a thing. It involves malic acid, toxic waste, and my taste buds becoming destroyed. That's happening at the end of the video, but right now, to kick things off, we need to melt some gummy bears. That is a lot of, that's like the most amount of gummy bears I've ever seen in my entire life. And one thing to be cautious of is when you melt them in the microwave, only doing in increments of 10 seconds, otherwise it might burn. So right now, let's go heat them up. One thing I think is very important is that you learn from my mistakes in these videos and I just made a massive mistake. I had this brilliant idea, if I combine all the colors, it'll make a beautiful rainbow. Instead it looks like this. And guys, this does not look appealing, like this looks Kind of like caramel, kind of a little bit like something else. I'm not about the color of this. It's not aesthetically pleasing. So for this, I went a little bit extra and I actually divided out all the different colors. So this is gonna be for the basic slime, this will be for the candy slime, and this will be for the sour slime, <laughs> color coded and everything. I just melted up all the blue gummy bears and this looks so much better. Like this looks so cool. It looks like the ocean is in gummy form. Like this looks delicious, I'm so excited. Next up is the cornstarch and then the powdered sugar. So I'm gonna add an equal amount in here, mix it all around, put it in here, and that's what's gonna create the slime. So the powdered sugar is what's gonna turn this into, no! Oh, I'm so bad at this. Wow, my DIY skills are not good at all. I'm definitely not Karina Garcia, that is for sure. The cornstarch is really cool because it actually makes it so the slime won't stick to you. And I remember this stuff from when we made that giant pool of oobleck, and so, yeah, I, I know the smell of cornstarch hmm, very well. So we're gonna dump a little bit in right now. I really messed this up because you're supposed to put them both in this bowl and then kind of mix them together, but uh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do away with the spoon right now. We're gonna go in with the hands and just go crazy. All right, so get the last of the slime off of the spoon. Oh, this already feels so weird and so sticky. It doesn't feel at all like slime. It literally just feels like, well, of course, like melted gummy bears. But I'm, I don't know what to do with the spoon, so I'm gonna leave it over here. A little bit of cross-contamination never hurt anybody. <laughs> Said no scientist ever. So all right, I think we're gonna have to go with both hands here. I'm gonna try to work it through. The great thing is it's not really like sticking. No, it's sticking to me. It's definitely, oh, it's day, it's all over me. This is not good, okay. This is not even like candy. This doesn't look appealing at the moment. How does this look? Not good. This is just a hot mess, man. This is just a hot mess. It looks like an alien substance, too. I'm not even, it doesn't even look like an appealing slime video. Like, you know when you see the videos on Instagram where they're playing with it, it looks so beautiful, like, oh. And like, it looks so gorgeous. Yeah, this. That doesn't look good. It's getting there a little bit. I just need a lot more of the powdered sugar and the cornstarch. I'm gonna, ah, it's on the back of my hand. No, 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 no. Gonna get a little bit more powdered sugar and then we're gonna go from there. I think I need a bigger bowl though. All right, now time to transfer into the bigger bowl, so. Oh, it's dripping, it's dripping, it's dripping, it's dripping, it's dripping. Oh, oh, it's so stressful. Okay, now it's all on my hand. So how do I get this off my hand? Like I need, I don't know how to do this. Melted gummy bears is a very sticky substance. It's getting even worse. Okay, yeah, that's not happening. <gasps> it's actually turning into slime. I cracked the code. I'm a genius. I had no idea that would work, so now we're taking it to the next level, and I'm now put the powdered sugar and the cornstarch in my hands, and I'm going all hand action right now. This is just, gonna use the thumbs to kind of mush it in. So here, so look at this. I open up a little bit, and then we push it together like this, and then kind of squeeze and manipulate, and it all falls out, man. It's the issue with this not combining. Like, that's my issue with it. It's just, and then it gets stringy. Fam. <laughs> Why are you stringy? So let's make this here. I have, I'm just gonna go back to this technique. It's just so much powder. <laughs> so much powder in the air. So we go here, and then I'm gonna try to like use a high five technique on the. Oh, it's getting so much better, actually. Look at this. It's getting. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. Bless the bless. Yes. Here we go. I'm gonna take a handful of it now. I'm gonna retrieve some more of it down here. Okay. There we go. My slime is gonna eat it. Yum 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 yum. This is like a real workout, too, man. I gotta do this two more times. Holy cow. Hold on, I want to see if I can make a giant bubble with it. Because you guys know I'm great at blowing bubbles when it comes to the slime. <sighs> no. It's starting to peel off my hands now, which is kind of like what it's supposed to do, but at the same time, it's not like it's getting more slimy, but this looks actually really, really, really cool. Oh, oh man. There's so much powdered sugar everywhere. The <laughs> it is getting better, though. It is getting a lot better. This takes a lot of hand strength. You gotta see this. You gotta see the full extension of this. It's like. What's up? 
Oh, that just shot everywhere. That was not good. You guys see that? We're starting to get sliminess. Okay, yeah, because it's starting to come off my hands. That's a good sign. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Turn up. It's my part of time. Next up, I'm going to be tasting it because I think it's kind of getting to, like, slime levels. If I can just get it off my hands and not as sticky, then we'll be in very good shape. It didn't work. It's still all over my hands, but we're going to go with it. <laughs> Eventually. All right, guys, I think we've got it to a really, really good place. Now, look at the slime. It looks so cool. So right now, I'm about to taste this edible candy slime. But first, I got a challenge. I want to see if you can subscribe to this channel, turn on the channel, post notifications, and give this video a thumbs up in seven seconds. Here we go. You ready? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, done. If you can do that, comment down below Keeper Squad right now. I'm gonna be going through replying to people who are able to do all three of those things in seven seconds. By the way, please don't comment about how bad that hand countdown was. I have slime on my hands. Here we go, get to eat this candy slime. It looks so delicious. It looks like cotton candy. Here we go, three, I'm just gonna go, huh, two. I'm so excited, one. Mmm, this actually is really good. This stuff is like super sticky as well. Like you put it in your mouth and it's like sticks to every area of your mouth. It makes you feel like you can't talk. Like this is the inside of your mouth. You try to talk, you're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> This is so cool. Right now, we're taking this to the next level. <laughs> I love how my hands look. High five. They don't stink. What happened? so cool. This is where things get really exciting because we're doing the exact same thing with the red ones, only this time we're adding a ton of candy, and then for the last one, we're doing a ton of sour candy. So right now, let's heat these up and let's make, let's make that slime! Woohoo! Now this looks so delicious. It literally looks like strawberry jelly, and I just, I want to eat it right now, but I have to use patience. I have to first mix in everything. Last time we did this, that was my first time doing it, and it definitely didn't go according to plan, so this time I'm going to be much more precise about it. We have the mixing bowl right over here, so we're going to take the cornstarch first, add that into the bowl, and then next we take the powdered sugar. going to add an equal amount into the bowl as well. Feel like a true baker right now. And this time, instead of playing with my hands, I'm gonna be professional and use a spoon to mix it all up. So we're gonna dump it all in. That's a lot. And then we're just gonna kind of go for it. Here we go. Yo, that looks so crazy. Yeah, so I think this is, okay, note to self, this is definitely working a lot better than when I did it in my hands. So I was pulling a lot of shenanigans before. I don't know why I didn't do it the way you're supposed to do it before, but this, it almost looks like a candy cane right now. Like, just like the way the white is mixing in with the red. Gonna mix it up a little bit more. You know, oh, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of those desserts. Uh, what are they called? They're like, uh, you find them at like Japanese restaurants. Oh, oh, mochi. That's it. It's called a mochi. And it's like this ice creamy kind of dessert that looks like it has the same texture as this. Because I think it has like powdered sugar or flour or something. I don't know. Some mysterious substance on the outside. But man, it's getting really tough to move. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. My hands are getting so tired. Oh my gosh. I was like, want to get my hands on. I think, okay. I think I'm done with the spoon, guys. I want to get my hands on this stuff. It looks. Looks so cool. Hopefully like it won't be as sticky as last time, because last time that was pretty intense, but here we go. I'm gonna pick it up. Let's see. Oh, it feels so cool. It's like really stringy, really hot, but definitely not as sticky. I think it's because there's like a ton of cornstarch coating it right now. I'm just gonna kind of like mix it up. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, it's definitely very sticky. I should have coated my hands first. What was I thinking? No, 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 I need to be a baker. Think baker, think baker thoughts. No! Here we go. Rescue myself, rescue myself. Remove, remove, okay. This hand only has a little bit of slime on it, so I'm gonna try to coat the hair. I'm gonna try to coat this hand in cornstarch. Here we go. I, sh I, sh I should have definitely done this beforehand. But here we go, okay. So if I coat my hand in cornstarch, theoretically, the slime won't stick to me. Yeah, my theory didn't work. It's still sticking to me. So I went way too early. I should have been patient. I should have used patience. It smells really good, but I should have used patience. Two hours later. Well, now it's turned into more of like a snowball than anything else because it's like, wee! <laughs> this stuff is crazy, but it's looking like slime as well. And so now it's time to add the candy into what's going on. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this and then I'm going to open it up and use it as kind of like a bowl. I'm going to dump all the candy into it. And then after that, we're going to mix it all together and then taste it to see how the candy gummy slime tastes. So first, I think we're going to add in some, uh, some good old jelly beans. Oh, way too many jelly beans. All right, we're going to use a few gobstoppers. They're perfect. Oh no, that green one, man. That was uncalled for. I was not expecting you. You were not supposed to be here, but I'll let you stay. You're cool. Next, we have some Pop Rocks, and these things kind of like trip me out. Hold up. In my haste and excitement, I kind of used up like kind of all of them. At least we got to enjoy them one way or another. And then next, we have these. Are these Pop Rocks as well? 
Nope. Okay. We'll add these in here. That looks so cool. Also got some razzles we're gonna add into the mix here. Perfect, and then we have some of these things here. These are cookie dough birthday cake bites. I've heard that these are amazing, so I'm really excited to add these. That was a lot of them, but that's, hey, that's fine. All right, we're gonna kind of squish them in. Eh. This is looking delicious. I think we also got some, um, some nerds. I'm gonna add these in. Perfect, we have now entered the, the nerd zone. All right, here we go. The moment of truth, see if we can mix all this candy into it. So I don't know how to do this. We're just gonna kind of squish it together. This is not gonna work at all. I, I have little faith, little to no faith at the moment. We're gonna use a thumb technique again, the thumb massage, just kind of thumb it over. The thumb technique comes in handy, man. Very versatile. If you can master the thumb technique, you're good. So I'm just gonna kind of like try to implant them all inside of it. This is working, oh my gosh, yes. I literally thought there was no way this would work, but this is actually working. Hold up, this is crazy. As long as they're all stuck in there, that's the most important thing. Ugh. Yo, that's looking so cool! Yes! Woohoo! I'm hyped right now! Woohoo! This was a massive success. Now is the moment you've all been waiting for. Time to taste the candy DIY edible slime. Here we go. Three, two, I'm so excited. Here we go. One. Mmm. Right, I'm gonna take another bite of your stuff. It's so ah, ow. Wow. I'm sorry, there's a lot of crunchy candies involved, and like I just don't expect it. Like it's so nice, like fluffy slime, and then you bite into a candy, like ah, ah. it'll attack you, bro. I wish you could taste it right now. It's like all the best candies mixed, mixed into one. And my mouth is glued. I can't, I can't, I can't talk. Now, we are moving on to the final one, which is the shower slime. Let's go. Now, this looks like slime. These gummy bears melted and this literally looks like sour slime without even adding any sour candy to it. And the process of making this into slime is gonna be a little bit different this time because we're still gonna use cornstarch, but instead of the powdered sugar, we're gonna be using malic acid, which is the sourest thing ever. This is the stuff they put on sour candy. This is hands down the worst. So again, we'll kick it off with the cornstarch right here. And now comes the fun part, adding in some malic acid. Oh my gosh, I get chills just from thinking about how bad this stuff is. I've had some terrible, terrible experiences with it. All right, let's mix it up. And it's back in my hands. I've got a ton of cornstarch, but this stuff is still super sticky. So I would say out of all of them so far, this is like the hardest one to get to the right consistency. I think it's because we use the malic acid on it, but hopefully this will turn out. But at the moment, it's just, it's, it's crumbling. Malic acid, man, always ruining everything across the board 24 seven. Well, that's kind of cool. <laughs> this stuff looks like the most slimy stuff out of all of it, like this. It looks kind of toxic in a way, you know what I mean? I've created a bowl with it and now it's time to add all the sour candy in. So of course we're kicking it off with some toxic waste right here. I gotta add in two more. These ones, as you guys know, are intense. Got of course some crybabies. Personal favorite. There we go, a couple sour dots. I'm not looking forward to biting into this. All right, and then we also have some sour uh, warhead spray. My fingers are stuck together, this is so hard. Oh no. No, 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 okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> I breathed in some of that mist from the sour spray, man. That went down the wrong way. Okay, you're gonna take this and close it up. Whew. Oh no. This stuff is going to be so, so intense. I am not looking forward to biting this. Oh my gosh, look, it's not even like sticking into it, man. This stuff's so sour, it's like we will not become part of the slime. Here we go, I'm about to take a bite into the sour slime in the world, but first, if you wanna be featured in the next video, comment down below how many pounds of slime should I fill a pool with? And also, congratulations to the Keeper of the Week, Claudia. If you wanna be the Keeper of the Week, check the description down below to find out how you wanna see me eat the sourest slime in the world. Here we go, three, two, one. Oh! It looks like a little like a hammock. Dude, it looks like a little hammock, huh? That's so cool. You, <laughs> you challenged me to make soup, uh, no. 